Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for 6-16-2021. I'm Suzanne Wagner and I'm a professional psychic and I do a daily blog. Hopefully you'll find these interesting and enjoyable. We always start with the numerology. If you add 6-16-2021 together you get the number 18 and if you get the 1 and the 8 together you get the number 9. The number 9 is a number of completion and I remember many years ago I had a house that was a number 9 and I swore to myself that I was never going to buy a number 9 house again because it was like so much needed to be completed and I mean not just within the house but um, within myself and I think I probably while I was in that house did most of my personal growth work some of the very deepest spiritual consciousness transformational work which was good it was it was very very good but it was a lot and so when the number nine shows up it's a great thing to kind of look at our past and use the fuel from the inner the emotional energy of the past including the past wounding as a transport to take us beyond this particular level and pop us into the next level if you can manage to do that oftentimes the door will close and you really can't slip back down into the old level um, so I always say that you know if you want to transcend the door you have to become neutral but to become neutral you have to be willing to let go and of something from the past so there's things in my past that I look back on very neutrally now and you know time heals all, all wounds as they say but there are other things that are you know, we're all still working on I'm still working on that we we deal with and so those are the things that you might want to address today as we deal with the number nine um, the number nine gives us that hope that we can come out of this mentally challenging time this last week <laughs> pushed pretty much everybody on levels of focus and emotional distraction brought up a lot right you know it really did it brought up a lot I've been hearing it you know all last week and even last night from people and so we're all doing this together I mean that's the the good news is that none of us are isolated we are not on an island we are on a giant ship all together and um, we are overcoming and it's and aspiring we are learning and we are growing together and we are skilled in areas that support integrative intuitive knowing because the number nine says once you have experiences from the past and you learn from the past hopefully they teach you how to listen to those subtle messages and that intuitive knowing and learn to listen to that over the concepts of the mind so the nine is um, a really strong feminine number it's the strongest feminine number so it is the right time to choose an extraordinary life what about that perhaps we could all do it together today all right the astrology for today today the moon is in Virgo bringing organization and a practical practical approach to all those pesky little details that keep arising good good to help us along the way for sure the question arises what are we seeking at this time there are obvious choices happiness wealth and love Venus and Jupiter are in a square and that can make minor things feel challenging it helps to know what one is looking for in the long run but it is okay if we are not sure sometimes the process of seeking is enough it is like a magical mystery tour after all the journey is often more interesting than the destination feelings are strong and that supports somewhat hasty responses with Vesta and Venus lining up we might have a more playful approach to our rational selves be careful not to make choices in communication that appear shallow or flippant making fun of others at their expense is never wise but it's especially not wise at the moment making fun of others is never a good idea try to understand instead try to see past behavior and into those things that make a person tick who they are is revealed in the subtle ways they talk and how they move we are coming into a Sun quincux to Pluto it may still feel as if your problem-solving skills are compromised focus remains elusive oh, God don't I know it um, it is expected to feel a bit out of sorts 
right here and not in flow with your natural self. Thank goodness that the planets are constantly in motion. Just know that something inside still needs to be released. There is still some more profound internal psychological expansion that is necessary for who you are becoming. My quote for today, the push, the pull, the constant tugging of duality, and somewhere in between it all, life attempts to thrive and move forward. Two steps forward, one step back, the cha-cha of the beating hearts that yearn for this type of life. Something always is coming our way. Many opportunities to express delight and dismay. My blog for today. Oh, people push <laughs> when they fear they will miss out on something they think is essential. Insisting is a form of manipulation. Insisting and demanding to me feel the same. They remind me of a child at the checkout stand that demands by screaming to have the candy bar. Insisting and demanding shows a lack of impulse control. <laughs> Others may try, may give in and try to make that person happy, but does that really work? Or does it allow them to continue a type of dysfunction? I find that everyone seeks out types of fulfillment in ineffective ways. That is because they do not understand what they are seeking. How often in life do we do things to attain something that we think will make us happy? Happiness is a choice in each moment, and we can find joy and fulfillment in the small things and in connecting with others in depth. Often less is more. It gives us a chance to go more deeply into the nuances and the special qualities that make things unique. While some think that new things are always better, I have to say that such a perception does not always pan out the way we think. I find that quality counts over quantity. That is something I think our world needs more awareness around. The quality of many goods is so diminished that when we buy them, they are cheap, cheaply made, and ill-fitting. When we buy food that is less than organic, it tastes like cardboard. Have you noticed that? I keep being amazed that some stores manage to sell anything. We live in a world where the process of buying is a form of instant gratification. It indicates to me that we live in a world with a lot of really unhappy people. When I lived in Europe, I saw houses that had been passed down for centuries. I saw furniture that was over a hundred years old, still being used and appreciated. I saw homes that looked like a picture book from the past. I love the smells of the old woods. I love the nostalgia of cobblestone streets. I love the feeling of ancient history so close to my consciousness, knowing that many people had walked this path before. I saw cultures that took care of their history and those things that connected them to their past. But as Americans, we are a new country, new to the, settler, new to the settlers that invaded this country. The natives had lived here forever. Many countries consider this country a throwaway country because we buy and then throw things away. But I think that we do that because items are so cheaply made and don't stand up to small tests of laundry or cleaning. Perhaps it is time to make choices based more on quality. If everyone made perhaps more expensive choices, but better made, we might be able to turn this reality around. Thanks, everyone.